you just can't own Steph Curry. Steph Curry is unownable. He's above it. He is. He's but, not. You can't own it. You know. You can't. You cannot own Steph Curry. Latest example: this past weekend, where he surpassed uh, Ray Allen for most three pointers made in the history of the playoffs, and he did it in about a third of the games that Ray Allen needed. As the uh, the Warriors took care of business against the Los Angeles Clippers, uh, let me get the numbers here exactly. I want to get these numbers. This was on Saturday night on ABC. Uh, Curry, 38 points, 15 rebounds, 7 assists, 1 block. Career high, 15 rebounds, regular or postseason. He's never had that. 8 to 12 from three-point range on his record-setting night. 31th, uh, 31st career, 31th, 31st career postseason game with 30 or more points. So there you go, right there. That's why Kevin Durant wants to be a Nick. How about that's why Kevin Durant should never want to leave the Golden State Warriors? <laughs> Let's flip it on its head. Oh, yeah, Durant can't stay in Golden State because it's Curry's show. He was the first one there. He right. will always be the Robin to Curry's Batman, even though the NBA Finals, last two years, the MVP was Durant. Right. Okay. And Curry can be known as the Robin to uh <laughs> to Durant's Batman because Curry's cool enough to be able to handle all that. We never hear once, there's never the disease of me or the disease of Moore with Steph Curry. Never. Ano no, it's always Draymond Green. Another reason why Durant's got to go to the Knicks, right? Because let Steph go ahead and try and win it himself, or it's the exact reason why he should stay in Oakland <laughs> or San Francisco where they're going to start playing their games. I don't understand it. I do not understand this whole sense that he's got to go and do his own thing. He has to. Durant has to for his legacy. The big L word. Legacy. For his legacy. He's always the one that joined the, the Golden State Warriors. Eh, for some yes. people that matters. Excuse me. He joined the Golden State Warriors after they won one. After they won one. Do you think. But after they beat his excuse team. Excuse me. Do you think when it's all said and done that they would have had two more in a row with a third, basically a foregone possible conclusion without Durant? No way on this green earth. They were, they lost 3-1 because Draymond Green was dumb enough to kick LeBron in the nards. Uh, that's, that's true. And that's how margin thin the margin part. I shouldn't say dumb for Draymond Green. My apologies. Was foolish enough to kick LeBron in the nards. That's the razor thin margin of error those Warriors had. The last championship against last year's was pretty easy. Well, because they had Durant. You don't think they would have beat the Cavs anyway? LeBron and a, and a bunch of bums? It would have been a lot closer. Or Six games instead do you think, of five? Do you, th do you think they would have gotten past the Chris Paulus Rockets? Come on. Let's be honest here. When it's all said and done, why the hell would Durant leave? Why wouldn't he stay put? He's as part of this dynastic run as Steph Curry is. To me, I'm watching this. They're equals. And I'm also not sitting there thinking this guy Durant – He's so sick and tired of this winning. He's got to go to New York. He's got to take Dolan's money. Yeah, but feeling the love matters to a lot of these guys. You're talking about a guy who's so petty, he has fake burner Twitter accounts to talk back to fans. And let me then follow up with this. Then we could take phone calls at 844 Let me just follow up with this. This is an insult to the Warriors. An insult to the Warriors. This whole argument this whole concept is a flat-out insult to the Golden State Warriors and I don't mean the players on the team and the players on the team could take it as an insult that they feel like Durant's done enough with them and he's got to do his own thing and that might have been the whole to do that started this conversation in late November that led to Draymond Green getting a one-game suspension and that may be going on behind the scenes that we don't even know what's going on because after they won it all last year, we heard that they've been dealing with something all year long right. that we still don't know what that thing that was going around their locker room. 
But it's an insult to the Warriors. What do I mean by that? You think they're just going to let Durant just stroll off to the New York Knicks without trying to make their last pitch? You don't think they're going to show Durant the love? You don't think that they're going to make their, their pitch with their coach, who's an all-time great coach now? You don't think they're going to make their pitch with their general manager? You don't think that these owners are going to make their pitch to Kevin Durant and say, what are, what are we talking about here, Kevin? What do you need? You got it. Whatever you need, you got. Of course they're going to have their last say. And another ring, potentially. And what if they don't win? What if they don't win? It gives, just, an, gives another go, reason for them to come back. They'll go join the team that beats I'm them. I'm just not ready. And this is not my Dolan wormhole. And this is not my... If like, as a Knicks fan, you should want him. It's not my Knicks fandom to say, I'm going to start talking about the worst case scenario because when the good stuff happens, I'll be happy. Right. This is not a psychotic, a psychosis. I just don't... I mean, that Saturday night win was so dominant. And I understand that the Clippers had a great march and that they might not be... You might sit there and go, well, they're the Clippers. They had a great march. Okay. Harrell had a great game. I mean, you know, their their guys had they had they had some good performance. Lou Williams is terrific. So all I'm saying is this: you look at that, and he's like, "I got to go start my own thing from scratch with James Dolan." Well, let me say this: and, to you. and a franchise that can't tie its own shoes for the last quarter century is that really what I want to do for real? But yes, because I want to do my own thing. I want to be my own man. I need it for my legacy. His legacy is just fine. His legacy is he's one of the best players of his generation. He's going to be a yes. first ballot Hall yes, of Famer. Of he's a champion. He's been a champion since he came off the campus at Texas. He's going to be, he's loved in the Pacific Northwest for even just his cup of coffee there in the center of the country. They're still pissed at him. But guess what? He did what he had to do. Yeah, but if you're him and you've never felt the love from the fans, and go, regardless of what the organization says to you, if you've never felt like you are accepted by the Bay Area. Is that a, is that a reliable narrative, really? That the Bay Area yes, fans have is. not accepted him? And so what could be their pitch if you've never felt this way where you're like, all right, $10 million? Who cares? If you've never felt the love and you want to go somewhere that's going to love you and accept you, and then you could do your own thing on top of it and become a god in New York City if, if you win one, why wouldn't you leave? No. I, I find that hard to believe that Warriors fans have not made Durant feel welcome. I find that very, very hard to believe. He seems really angry this year. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.